Hey guys, and very quickly before the video starts, I just want to let you know that I'm giving away all the GameSir gear here on this video. Um, iPhone 13 mini not included. Ah, and my heat temperature gun is not included either. Let's put that there. So you've got the F5 controller. We also have the F2 Fire Sticks. We have the Cooling F8 Pro Snow Gun which is there as well, but it comes with a little joystick. You'll see that in the full video. And the little thumb, uh, they're called GameSir Talons, little thumb gaming sleeves. So yeah, you can win all this. Um, if you just go down in the description below, just subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter. Just let me know you've done it. And I will announce the winners next Saturday. Okay, next Saturday. All the information will be in the description below. Go and check that out. But in the meantime, please enjoy the GameSir video. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the GameSir F8 Pro Snow Gun. It's a mobile cooling grip. Now you can get this for around about $40 or 30 pounds, depending on where you shop. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool. In the box, no pun intended by the way there. It looks really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, in the box, you get uh, some stickers, some leaflets, a really long 1.5 meter USB cable to charge uh, the actual grip. And obviously you get the grip itself as well. Now I quickly tried the iPhone 13 mini, which fits in nicely, and also the iPhone 12 Pro Max, so that huge phone, they both fit in there absolutely fine. So this is the mobile grip. I wanna take um, a closer look at it here. Now we have a Type-C connector there at the bottom. We also have a little stand here. So it can stand like that. Okay. Now this is the plate that's gonna get really cold and I think we can peel this off here. Yep, it's coming. There we go. That is off. So that's the cooling plate. Um, we have on the inside here, this is rubber material. So that's gonna protect uh, your phone, top and the bottom. You'll also see here, Let's put the 12 Pro Max in here actually while I'm doing this. That's a huge phone. So you can see you still have access to the bottom there. So if you do want to charge your device while, while using this, that's absolutely fine. Now, the reason you get a long cable, long USB-C cable, is unfortunately you can't run it off battery. It needs to be plugged in at all times. I was slightly disappointed by that, but it's like a refrigeration sort of effect, so it needs a lot of power, and I can't imagine uh, battery power lasting very long. So that's why you get a really long Type-C cable. This I'm not actually using the Type-C cable provided, that's still here, but I've already got a lot really long cable here anyway. So that's on. You can see the pretty cool RGB LEDs. Now, this should be getting cold. Wow, yeah, that feels like a fridge. Now I do have, oh, I don't do that. Cause that's stopping the airflow. I do have one of these guns, these temperature guns. You point at stuff. Now, if I do this, That's saying 6.8, but if I come further away, the reading changes. So on every test, I'm gonna go right up close, actually touch it and read it from there. At the minute I'm getting 5.7 Celsius, 5.8, 5.9. Yeah, so that's going down 5.6. That's really cold. Now, when, bear in mind, um, here's the iPhone 12 mini. Let's go right up to that. This is the sort of area where the phone sort of get hot, gets hot near the top right hand corner here. At the moment, that's 27.7 and it's not doing anything, so that's standard. Let's see if this has changed. It's been on a couple of minutes now, hasn't it? 
Oh yeah, it's down to 4.8 Celsius now. Oh, it's going back up now. Why is it going back up? I suppose it will fluctuate. But that is cold. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to do some gaming. I've downloaded a couple of games on here. Genshin Impact as well, which is a very, very uh, demanding game. So we should get some heat on this phone. Uh, but I'm going to play some games on this uh, without this being on. I want to let this get back to room temperature again. But I will use the, uh, the, the joystick and stuff you get with it. And then I'll see how hot the phone gets. Then I'll do some more gaming tests with this actually on. Let's see how cool it gets. Okay, so I've just popped this little controller, this little um, thumbstick. It slots into that little gap there and you can push it up and down, obviously fold it down. Obviously depending on what size, the thickness of your phone and how big your phone is. But we'll see how this works with the 13 iPhone 13 mini. That's 28.7, 28.8, 28 28.9. So that is going to get hotter the more I game on it there. I want to see how this thing works. Let's jump into a game and see how well this incorporates in because this is a small, it is a small phone. So I want to make sure it doesn't take up too much room on there, if you see what I mean. Okay, so we have the game set up. We still have access to volume controls, speaker grills there. So, turn the volume up a bit, put that on there. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. I'm going to click, that's just to note how long I've been sort of gaming for, uh, really. Obviously, this video isn't about um game performance and how I game on this just obviously does it stay cool enough yeah so remember obviously I'm just using the the cooling grip just as a grip no cooling um is on the, here at all it's just standard yeah I'm not too sure about this joystick thing you know But it's totally optional. You can flick it off that way like that. Let's see. Let's pop that there a sec. I do want to try these. These are called GameSir Talons as well. Um, I don't know if I've got really big thumbs, but they go on your thumb here, which you could use instead of that joystick for better gliding on on the screen next 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 play again okay so i'm back in you see that is really nice it glides so well on the glass the they were there were two in the pack that i had but i have misplaced one <laughs> unfortunately uh but yeah i prefer using uh, this it glides so much better on the glass Especially if you get sweaty thumbs. <laughs> ah, that's the end of that. So it's been gaming for about eight minutes and 52 seconds. We're at 32.8. Thirty-two point nine. Just then. Let's just do the, the back of it. Okay, so that's where you feel most of the heat. Like we got thirty-five point six. That's actually not actually too hot, really, is it? Now we're going to go on to Genshin Impact. Okay, so we now on Genshin Impact, which is a much more demanding game. This comes off easy enough as well. If you want to take that off completely. Um, so let's see how hot this phone gets uh, using this then. Okay, so we've had like 20 minutes of gaming combinating between uh, Call of Duty and this 
mainly. Um, yeah, no cooling or anything. Let's have a look how hot. Okay, so nearly 40 degrees, so 39.3, 39. It's going to start coming down, I suppose, when I'm not doing anything on the. So we're looking at 39. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is obviously continue gaming. Let's just stop there a sec. Uh, but let's turn the fan on. So it says when you turn it on, it, within like the first few seconds, it will be instantly cooling the device. So, see how I get on. In terms of audible volume, you can hear a fan there, but it's not too loud. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna continue playing now. And um, I'm stuck at this bit now, actually, I don't know what to do. <laughs> And then we'll see if it gets um, any cooler. Should do. Okay, so I've been gaming for an extra five minutes now. So this cooling device has been on for five minutes. This is a proper cool, isn't it? Again, no pun intended. So it was about 39.4 at the first reading when I took it off. Let's quickly flick it off there. Okay, look, so we're down to 31.6 there. It was 31.6. Now, obviously, it's going to go up now because there's no cooling anymore. It was down to 29 there. Yeah, so it was down to 31.6. So that's, that's like 8 degrees lower. Now, obviously, I can't test the actual internals of this, but on the outside there, now that doesn't feel hot anymore. If we get a close reading on this, it's been on for five minutes. Let's feel that, okay. Obviously I was blocking the fan as well. So it's 13.5. So obviously it's gonna pick up a little bit of heat from the phone, but this has cooled the phone down around about eight degrees Celsius by the, by the looks of it. This is getting back down to the, the, the cold sort of four degrees we saw earlier. So as far as I'm concerned, I did around about 25 minutes of gaming, 20 minutes without any cooling. It got up to nearly 40 Celsius. Whacked um, this on for five minutes, five, six minutes, and it dropped a whopping eight degrees Celsius. Obviously on the outside, it doesn't feel hot. Again, I can't measure the internal temperature, but there is definitely a cooling uh, going on there. And for me, I think that's definitely passed the test. Uh, yeah. So if you want to call your smartphone while gaming, this definitely works. It looks really, really cool. I love the RGB uh, lights. A shame it doesn't run on batteries. Maybe future models might do that, uh, but it needs a lot of power so to keep that cool, that refrigeration effect. It does feel like a fridge, it really does. This um, sort of thumbstick, it was okay for me. I found it a little bit awkward, but it's totally optional. You don't need to use it. Um, I'll include links to all these in the description as well. You get little thumb pads. This, that really helps your thumb glide on the screen. Uh, Games are also do these uh, little triggers and stuff, which I have done videos on them in the past. And this cool, pretty cool contraption as well. If you can see that one, this is called the, the Falcon, Falcon F5 Mini. You can get a couple of them. They're the same sort of, um, same sort of process as these sort of triggers really, in a sense. Uh, but I'll include links to all these in the description. Games so do, do, do some really cool uh, mobile gaming devices. And this, a cooling grip, works fantastically well. A definitely a thumbs up for me. So thank you all very much for watching. Please pop any comments you have down below and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.